So I'll tell you something really exciting and it's in the world of stem cells. So we look at problems that we're facing in America and things that are very expensive in healthcare and sometimes the solution is right in front of us. Last year, we in America spent about $11 billion doing knee replacements. $11 billion doing knee replacements and the knee replacements for arthritis and they don't last forever. The average person that got a knee replacement waited about 13 years before they got the knee replacement. So for 13 years they were suffering before they got a knee replacement and cost $11 billion. And during that 13 years, they had a lifetime cost of about $35,000 getting injections, taking pain pills. I mean, this is an enormous cost to our time, missing work, to the healthcare, to our quality of life. And now we have something else that's available for, for knee arthritis besides taking drugs that are harmful and besides doing a surgery that has a high chance of having an adverse event, like 2% of people with, with knee replacements have you know, a stroke or a blood clot or even sometimes die from the surgery. Stem cells are cells that are in your body and they're in all our organs and they're designed to fix stuff. They're designed to turn things over. So when you're getting exposed to ultraviolet light, uh, your stem cells are constantly repairing your skin. If they don't do properly, you might get a skin cancer, you might get sun damage or wrinkles your intestinal tract, your blood, these are all fast turnover organs. And then we have organs that turn over slow, slower, and sometimes it's stem cells that aren't paying attention. In the case of arthritis, your joint has gotten narrower space, the cartilage is gone, and the solution was trying to inject it with steroids and stuff or even replace it eventually. But now we found that if we inject stem cells out of your own body, stem cells that we obtain from your fat, it stimulates the cartilage to start healing itself and actually attaches to the cartilage and grows new cartilage. When we first started doing this was a, about a decade ago and we were seeing improvement and we weren't sure what's happening but now the evidence shows us that we're actually growing cartilage back. We have studies now going out five years where the people had their knees injected or joints injected and their pain is still not returned to baseline. They still have significant improvement of their pain and disability and function. And they've done MRIs and scopes and show that this is actually cartilage is growing back, large defects, bone on bone arthritis, even the most severe case of arthritis have responded to stem cell therapy where before we thought, oh, it's too bad, they have to get a knee replacement. One of the limitations of stem cells had been the fact that insurance doesn't pay for it yet. There's, there's things like the FDA approval of uh, stem cells as a drug. And so we figured out how to kind of deal with these, these problems. The inherent problem with the making of the stem cells, the FDA is trying to get involved in whether or not you know, a manufacturer can make this, they gotta prove it's safe. And that could take 10 or 20 years, maybe sooner than that, hopefully. We found a way to use FDA cleared equipment to suction your fat out of your, say out of your side. You only need like a couple teaspoons of fat. And we use a device that basically pulverizes the fat cells and the stem cells survive that, that injury and they're heavier and they fall to the bottom. So then we spin them in a the centrifuge, we collect them, then we inject them in the joint. This is essentially, I mean, it's not a painless procedure, but it's very minimal discomfort, no downtime at all. After you do a stem cell treatment for your knees or your joints, you'll get a little bit of immediate improvement because stem cells have a lot of anti-inflammation properties. And then they start healing over a period of about six months to a year, but you actually feel a lot better in about two months, but you continue to feel better for up to a year and a half and it stays stable, we know for about five years. Uh, it might last longer than that, we just don't know yet. Science hasn't been around that long for it. So this is very exciting. This is something that we really have a huge impact on our society, not doing these surgeries, not making people wait 13 years to get treatment, you can do it right away, uh, safe, okay, reduce hospitalizations, reduce anesthesia, reduce risk, improve your activity, improve your quality of life stem cells for arthritis.